Okay, so we're on Santee Cooper, fishing with my dad and myself. And basically, we're just fishing. He was fishing a Texas rig worm, and I was fishing a jig. And basically, just throwing around cypress trees and uh, submerged stumps and underwater structures. So right there, you see all these fish were small. Most of them were right around 14 to 15 inches, 14 inches the minimum to uh, put in a live well. So... I was measuring each one. Okay, so right here I was flipping a jig. I don't like to cast in the swamp. I like to flip underhand it so you can stay out of the tree limbs. But I ended up flipping, and as you'll see in a second, I had one hit it, and I set the hook. I thought I had a monster, but it was just a bowfin, a.k.a. what we call a mudfish. So. They're fun to catch, but, I mean, I just throw them back in the water. This one was around five or six pounds. I, I didn't really weigh him, so. But I had a little trouble getting them off the hook. I left my needle nose pliers at the house, but you catch a lot of these in our swamp right here on Santee Cooper uh, uh, all the time. You just catch them all the time when you're bass fishing. And after I got him out the net and got them off my line you always want to retie because these fish have small teeth and they'll cut your line and you'll eventually break off if you don't watch it right here i'd already flipped into this spot you see this is the second time my dad had thrown in there and that's why i like throwing different baits especially if i'm in the back of the boat and somebody's throwing a worm i'll usually throw a jig and try to get a bigger bite a bigger fish but i ended up fishing this really slow Threw back in again, and as you see, I, I hook a, a little fish. He was, I think he was around 14 inches. I can't remember, but but that's why you always kind of want to throw something different in the back of the boat. And especially if you want to try to get a bigger bite. I mean, a, text, a worm, usually you're going to catch more fish, but a jig, usually you'll get the bigger bite. And you see that this water was real dingy and muddy. The water had been high, so when it's like that, I like to throw darker baits. Usually I throw a black and blue or a blue colored worm or jig. And today I had a jig with a crawfish trail on it, black and blue. And here my dad's catching another one in front of me. It's hard to beat the man on the front of the boat sometimes. But as you can see, we had a mess in this boat. I had every bait out of his tackle box. I didn't even bring mine, so I was searching for a certain kind of jig had baits in the net luckily this fish was small so i just scooped him up but i mean pretty much all day we had a good day because we caught a lot of fish but they were all around this size i mean right around keeper size 14 inches so just like that some days but at least at least we were catching fish All right, so we're basically still just fishing around trees and structure. My dad right here, he gets a good hook set. Another small fish, he's still catching them. So I'm throwing a jig, hoping I'd get a bigger bite, but it just didn't happen today. Uh, I threw it a good bit, flipping it around trees. Just, just the small ones were in here today. Couldn't find any bigger ones. All right, so basically I'm checking all these fish with a ruler. This is called the golden rule, and this is pretty much we use around Santee Cooper on Lake Marion and Lake Moultrie. And uh, it's pretty much tournament regulations, and it's, it's right on with DNR regulations. So it's a pretty good ruler if, if you want to look on online and find one. But uh, it's called the golden rule. But all these fish, man, they were just short this day. The day before that we were catching uh, bigger fish. So just like that some days. So it seemed like the the fish we were catching, it was mostly with floating vegetation that had floated against around the base of the trees. And the reason those fish were around there, there was a lot of bait fish, a lot of small minnows, and they were just feeding on these minnows. So most of the fish we caught were against pushed up gr floating grass that were around the base of the trees. And then this is also where I decided I'm going to cut this jig off because my dad was wearing me out at the front of the boat and I was going to put a worm on. So... I'll show y'all what I ended up putting on, but they're, like you see, they're just small fish, but fun to catch, a good day. All 
All right, so my dad was throwing a Texas rig, and I was bound and determined I'm not going to throw the same bait with somebody in the front of the boat that's catching more fish than me. If it's not a tournament, we were just fishing for fun. So what this rig is, I got a three offset hook and a small swivel. I don't know what size swivel it was. And what I do is I put the swivel above the hook about 10 inches. And what I like to throw on that is a Cinco or a floating worm. And today I ended up throwing a blue Cinco. Yeah. So basically that swivel helps it sink a little bit faster and it gives you a little bit more weight to cast on a bait caster reel. You know, without a spinning reel is a little bit better to cast light tackle, but you can do it on a bait caster. I do it all the time. But that little swivel just gives you a little bit of weight and it helps the Cinco sink a little bit faster because we were in like five to six foot of water so i wanted to get it around two and a half three and basically i just throw it out there let it sink twitch it a couple times let it sink twitch it a couple times let it sink and they usually hit it when it's falling because it looks like something injured floating through the water so but that's basically what i tied on and it, it ended up working for me pretty good So I still like to flip baits, like I say, in the trees. That keeps me out of the trees. But I twitched this worm, and you can see the fish roll. He missed it, twitched it again, and then set the hook. He hit it on the second time. But it was a small fish, but he nailed it. And it, like I say, it just seems like they always hit that worm when it stops and falls. And right here, you see I ended up throwing ahead of my dad. I don't care if somebody's in the front of the boat. I'll throw over their shoulder if they're, if they're catching more fish than me. But I ended up throwing right ahead of him and hooking a little fish again. I don't think it was a keeper, if I remember correctly. But the little fish pulled pretty hard. And uh, like I say, we didn't need a net the entire day. We could flip him in the boat. But all in all, it was a good day. A good trip on Santee Cooper. Some muddy water, a little bit of current, and... Like I say, most of these fish, they were feeding on minnows and bait fish around a lot of this grass that was pushed up.